Outrocast. Marina, Lorian, a pleasure to be speaking with both of you today. Congrats on this great new series. If if I can start with a compliment here, what I love that this show does, yes, there's other shows which show off how great of a designer people are. Yes, there's other shows that show off how great choreography or artistic stuff is, but never do they care about the functionality of the clothing. I think this is the first time I've ever seen where they cared about how people can actually wear and perform in this clothing. So congrats on that. Now, the first question, I'll throw it to Lorianne. It's a two-parter. How <laughs> are you? And like Marina, you are also an award-winning person. But did you and Marina ever go in the same circles? Because you both worked with Nicki Minaj and Britney Spears at different points. What was your first question, Darren? How are you? I mean, just... Oh. Like, conversation Fab. oh my god <laughs> Fab. i am amazing i'm actually in london so i'm trying not to let that jet lag get me but i'm actually in london uh, i've just designed 21 savages stage and we're, we're headlining wireless so i'm actually activating and in the very thing that the, we talk about on the show but mm -hmm. so i'm amazing but i'm in it and um yes marina and i have actually crossed paths very early which is amazing because I was a dancer and she was designing a costume for me. And it was the first time we met. So to come full circle and have this opportunity to evolve the next level of not only costume designers, but innovators yeah. and visionaries and not the little dancer, but now the creative director and the director and obviously, you know, our award-winning Marina and et cetera, like you said, it's so exciting because like you said, nobody understands the functionality and also the process. Yeah, And oh, we're yeah. so excited to have the viewer come inside of a real process because it is dramatic, challenging, life-changing, inspiring, uh, a lot of reality, a lot of hard work. It's not an Insta situation. You can't post the outcome. You got to post the process. So it's kind of revolutionary as well. Yeah. Now, Marina, looking behind you, I see three of the Emmys. Where are the other four? Uh, my parents have two. Okay. <laughs> and I think one some. <laughs> I mean, it would just be overly braggadocious if if you had seven i mean three is is a good number to have but <laughs> are you doing fine aside from listening to uh stupid media questions today marina i'm doing great thank you how are you uh, non-stop but good and i'm honored to be in the pleasure of geniuses because when i'm talking about you and Lorian, i'm talking about not only award winners but people who've been working non-stop on projects that people actually see for decades but are modest enough to be in the background. Let the stars be stars. So this is kind of your coming out in a way. Uh, Marina, did you have any hesitation towards, you know, being so star oriented on this show? Um, I don't even think that's a thought process, honestly, that went into this. I think what's a very beautiful and unique thing about this experience is although Lorian and I are mentors and judges on the show, we're also very much in it. So there is a part of us being able to relate and understand to what these contestants are going through. That's a very unique dynamic because not only are we the resource and the guide to perfecting and executing the challenges and, and bringing out the best in these contestants, we're also very much in the process ourselves on the outside. You know, so there is that um, constant like for me it was like a mind check of i know how they're feeling i know what's going on i know where the mistakes are happening mm -hmm. i know where they're like pushing forward and being their best selves you can see all these things because we're living through it and i think that's a really unique touch to the show is to where we're we did all the work we're still doing the work and now we're being able to share all of our experiences and our love and our passion and our dreams and give it all back and at the same time be also not just the mentor but also a cheerleader and that's important so uh for the umpteenth time here amazing credits you both have and when i go through them the lorianne i know that a living color 
was a big starting point. And then the Missy Elliott, I can't stand the rain video was a big elevation point. Now, Marina going through your stuff, I couldn't tell what was the first big break for you. I couldn't tell. <laughs> I, I think there are um, so many moments, uh, probably piece of me with Britney Spears was the first thing that um, I was really hands on and on set. And then from there, I, well, I started as a fashion designer, so that's right. probably, I had a lot of my stuff, you know, going through editorials and working with stylists and kind of living a different, like, lane of what design is. And then when the pivot happened into costume design, that's where I went through the process that the contestants are going through. I had to completely re-educate and, like, almost rewire myself as to the fabrics that I once loved I couldn't use. You know, they don't move, they don't breathe, they are, there is no element of um, performance to them. So it's like all those things. I, I went through the exact same thing. I had to teach myself, how do you design for an artist? That's a performer. How do you design for somebody that's a stationary artist? How do you really make the stage come alive and all those things now I can bring back, you know, with me and with Lorianne's and I history together. Like there's so much more that we can really kind of bring out the best and also give back. And I think that that's something not a lot of artists get the opportunity to do is literally give back to the next generation of creatives. Fantastic. Uh, Lorianne, I, I saw you cringe a little bit when I said in living color, you're not uh, you're not psyched about the fly girl days. No, I love the fly girl days. I just cringe at any like interpretation of what your moment is, you know, because you've had so many and you're still having them. Right. And you know, you impact culture and you go outside. And like you said, how do we feel about being in front of the camera? You know, I think this show is so innovative. The season we're in is changing. Technology has changed our process and our conversation. So people do want to know who's actually at the core of the why, who are the visionaries right. and as creative director and as director and as a collaborator with today's hottest music artist, I'm excited about being able to educate people about that process. You know, sometimes it's not just the artists, you know, and, and this yeah. generation and the future gets to hear from us as visionaries in the collaboration with this competition show. And they're responding to us and, you know, we're responding to uh, being in that position, having the opportunity to shine and inspire and, be passionate about that because that's been a part of our process. So yeah, since the fly girl days, I'll never forget. And I cringed because the costume designer at the time put everything on me. I'll never forget. Cause I nicknamed myself Peppy Le Pew. Cause mm -hmm. I literally had like a hat, a feather, a choker, a this, a that. I was like, girl, if you put one more thing on me, I'm not going to be able to dance. So no <laughs> functionality. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> exactly. But I had to experience that. So now when I got into the position, obviously, with a Gaga or a Nikki or a Katie, I was able to collaborate with the greats and obviously collaborate with Marina as well. And that creates innovation an experience right. that a ticket buyer can go to and talk about it, but also functionality, durability and breathability. But also, ultimately, when you step on stage in that design, the artist is able to be. And that creates an experience that the fans never forget. Okay. Well, a stupid follow-up question for that. And then one question about the you, and then you're free of me. Does that sound okay? Okay. Uh, so Canadian hip hop roots right there, Laurieann. Uh, did you ever work with Maestro Fresh Wes? No, I might've been too young, but do I love Maestro Fresh Wes? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a name more Americans should be familiar with, uh, unfortunately. Darren, I love that you know that. Now, that lets me know there is nothing stupid on this Zoom, right? No, that, I mean, I, I feel so happy that you even mentioned that. So thank you. I, I think that you have to know your Canadian hip hop of forefathers and icons and all that. But uh, back to you, Lorianne. So, the, and I'm going to ask the same thing to, to Marina, you know, this is the new project to us. It's a really new project because it, you know, we're still waiting it for it to premiere for you. You knew it was coming. You filmed, you waited, you kept quiet, et cetera. Are we allowed to know what's next 
or is it dress my tour forever and ever? Amen for the end of time. <laughs> for you, uh, are we allowed to know what's next? Well, I'm just going to say there is a plethora of next, right? It's mm -hmm. an interesting time that I'm standing in right now that I'm excited that uh, I do have a lot coming to inspire and continue to do what I do best. But today, Darren, I'm really excited about Dress My Tour. July 23rd is a national holiday because it's the day for the visionary. And we will unleash the drama of being in an authentic way. And I just want this new generation of dreamers in music, in performance, to sure. really tune in. And then an audience that deserves, you know, the entertainment value of a conversation that has never been revealed. So we pulled two curtains back. And now we're inside Oz even, you know, in a in a more exciting way with the magic magical. Uh, razzle dazzle and still a little bit of mystery <laughs> well uh marina same promised question at you are we allowed to know what's next besides hey uh the tours and the performers that guests on dress my tour working with them is there anything is there a secret fashion line coming or do we just have to wait and see and keep following you on instagram i think wait and see is probably the best way to go about it uh but um, I will just second Lorianne on this one to where this is such an important project for us that we're both 100% behind and would love to inspire and, you know, motivate all the young designers out there and creatives out there. And I think both of us have worked so hard in our careers that this is something that we're 100% behind mm -hmm. and the focus is there. You know, the things that we do in the future, I think that, you know, that would be like more of a follow and a surprise. And again, same thing. We're nowhere near retirement. So I think we're going to continue yeah. doing things and collaborations and pivoting at the same time. Um, so, yeah, for me, it'd be the same thing as just promoting this incredible show on July 23rd and hoping that this really does show design in a very new light you know, and not just what we know of fashion, but how do the two merge and now what we know of costume design and how music inspires that and how fashion inspires music and vice versa. Um, and I think we're about to see something very unique and different. And hopefully this generates um, some more inspiration and we see a lot more people creating out there. We need well, that right now. <laughs> for sure. But thank you for the decades of your contributions to the pop culture zeitgeist both of you, you know, the everyday average person doesn't really think, where do those clothes come from? Where do, where do those moves come from? You two. So thank you for that. Congrats on this series and looking forward to what's to come from both of you. Thank you very much. Outrocast.